Welcome to Conceptua Math. We are exploring the free online tools. In this segment, the number line. The number line is a good tool for developing the conceptual understanding that fractions are numbers. As numbers, fractions can be compared and ordered on a number line. In addition to ordering the fractions, the number line provides an excellent opportunity for students to see how equivalent fractions are actually the same number and occupy the same position on the number line. This problem has several fractions with the same numerators, 2 fourths, 2 sixths, 2 eighths. Clicking on the plus symbol allows me to create yet another fraction. Keeping the numerator the same, 2, let's make the denominator 12. 2 twelfths, click on the lock button so that the fraction can be dragged to the number line. Before dragging fractions to the number line, let's add tick marks as a visual to help students place the fractions more accurately. Point out to students that since some fractions have large denominators or small parts, it may be easier to place the fractions accurately if we have a greater number of ticks. Have students brainstorm the number of ticks that would be appropriate for this problem. Then click on this arrow to add the number of ticks. Removing the cursor and placing it back on the arrow will briefly show the number of ticks, 6 in this problem. When considering this fraction 2 fourths, ask students about an equivalent fraction before placing it on the line, 1 half. Consider 2 sixths. Remember, the tick marks are sixths. The fraction two-sixths is close to three-sixths or one-half. So drag two-sixths to the three-sixths and back one tick to two-sixths. A scaffolding technique could be the use of a metacognitive think-aloud strategy with a fraction like two-twelfths. The students determine the number of parts in the whole by looking at the denominator, twelfths. First, twelve parts are in a whole, so twelve twelfths would be one whole. Second, half the whole would be six or six twelfths, and that would be placed here. Next, students need to determine if two twelfths is greater than one half or less than one half. Two twelfths is less than one-half and also closer to zero. Two-twelfths is equivalent to one-sixth, so it would be placed here. The check work button can be used at any time to determine the correct placement or order of fractions. When two-eighths is correctly placed on the number line, ask students to identify what relationship between the order of the fractions on the number line and the size of the denominator when the numerators are the same. You can see that the use of the number line tool can clearly help students develop a conceptual understanding that fractions are numbers and there are relationships between fractions.